So this is uh, version three of my folding shanty. I'm going to be adding this video uh, along with the ones to follow. I'll be making kind of one longer video to upload to YouTube. So this is now uh, November of 2018. So last year, October 17, I started to build another smaller one. Two years ago is when I built the larger one that was like a five or five and a half by seven or seven and a half, whatever it was. And uh, it just was so heavy. And last winter ended up throwing out my back, um, uh, lugging it around. And so I wanted to build a smaller one. And so last October started to build a smaller one. I wanted it to fit inside the bed of my pickup. And I have one of those um, short beds that's five and a half feet long. So I built it five foot, four inches long, uh, giving myself a couple of inches. And what I didn't realize was the top of the bed behind the cab actually flares out a couple of inches. And uh, so I got it all built and it fit. Uh, I could shut the tailgate, but I couldn't put the ski or anything on the front. And as you watch these other videos, you'll hear things like uh, the floor was too thin. I made the floor out of 3 8 plywood, and I didn't really like that. Um, also then, I, I did my walls wrong. Um, the walls didn't fold quite right with the trim. And, uh, and even then, it was taller than uh, the bed of my truck, so that wasn't going to work. I didn't figure that quite right. And uh, then I didn't like the holes either. The holes in the floor were 10-inch holes. And they were just way too big. I made the made the floor space kind of look like it was disappearing, and and uh, just with the three eighths floor, made it feel a lot thinner. So you know things I commented on in the other videos was I wish I would have done half inch plywood. So this time I did. Um, I did the walls uh, a little different, and uh, the other thing is I insulated the floor. So. Uh, for now, I'm going to sign off. Uh, each video is about two minutes long. So until the next video, 11 Myers and counting. So this is uh, part two then of version three of my folding shanty. So I want to just show you what I've done. So like I just mentioned in the previous video. So this floor is uh, is half inch thick. Um, this is just a temporary brace. Uh, one of the comments I want to make is when you're building these walls, uh, the original designer, Michiana Fisherman, talks about using kiln-dried lumber. And I don't know if that would have um, made a difference as far as uh, maybe not twisting as much, maybe so. But otherwise, you know, lumber today just isn't as good as it used to be. So I think he talked about in some iceshanty.com posts about, you know, ripping all the boards at once. And I just am finding it better just to uh, rip them as I build each wall and it takes a little more time but then you can rip the pieces you need frame it and then build it um, and this is kind of the consequence of not doing that this wall kind of bows in a little bit and uh, just because the wood was kind of twisting and so I've got that propped out as I've glued in the insulation board on the inside of the frame here and then I'm going to be putting the loo on here um, on the inside as well it just looks nicer it'll add a little bit of weight but since this fish house is five foot two rather than five foot four, um, and I did the under bottom bracing a little bit different, a little lighter, and so I think that'll help make up for it. And so that'll give me just more strength on the inside, and uh, just the finished look just looks a lot nicer. The other thing then is too, is there's one of my 10 inch holes I made last year, the circle I cut out. So I ended up finding on Amazon an eight inch hole saw. And so I'm gonna be using that this year to make my holes. I'm just going to like that better. I've got a little 7-inch uh, portable, uh, just a hand auger, and then I've got an 8-inch electric ion auger. And so I think the 8-inch holes are going to be just fine. And that'll just give me more floor space, and um, I'll just like it better. So um, until the next video, 11 Myers and counting. So with the walls, um, again, this is Fish House version 3. That's November of 2018. So what I ended up doing was, so this first wall over there is 12 inches tall um, from the inside. And then this is 13. And then the back wall is 14. And then this front wall is 16. And that 16 inches allows for the trim that's on the sides as it folds down. And uh, what I'll, I'm also planning to build is a shelf at the top that'll kind of fold up that'll end up being about an inch thick. And that'll help everything sit correctly as it folds down. But otherwise, you've got to really pay attention when you're building. Um, and each wall has to be just a little bit different. And so, so the way I'm building it, it's just going to seal better. And when I get to those parts, when I get the walls done, I'll show you what I mean. Um, and so uh, 
Some of the things that are different than I just mentioned on the last video, I think, or if I didn't, um, I've actually insulated my floor. So underneath my shanty here, I've glued this three quarter inch R board, um, a great big sheet of it, just one piece. And uh, so that's kind of nice. So that'll be insulated. That also adds to the rigidity. Um, I mentioned this is a half inch plywood floor. And uh, of course that makes the math a lot easier. Um, so some other things I've made then is I've made these little kind of corner shelves. I just took one of the circles that I cut out from last year actually, but I, you could have used these other ones too. And so I just took one of those circles and cut it in fourths and I used two of those in each, one in each corner. And so what I'll do is I'll put a little piece of loo on, on the front here and uh, make like a little lip that'll be raised. And that'll be just like for setting a pop can or whatever. Um, but it also of course adds some corner um, strength as you do that. So it makes those corners a lot stronger. And um, the other thing I just wanted to um, mention here quick is um, that uh, what I wanted to do different this time was I wanted to make sure that when it all folds together, um, it's gotta be only the, the 21 inches. I think I mentioned the last video that with all the sides, um, that's, that's the height of the bed. I wanna have my 10 aisle cover over the top and so um, so that's where some of the math had to be adjusted to. So uh, that's enough for this video. So until the next one, 11 Myers and counting. So just uh, another little short video here then quick. I just wanted to comment on a couple of other things. Um, so what I did was I also am putting a piece of plywood on the inside here so that the, these storage compartments, it'll make it a little more solid. And uh, then if you put stuff in here, I found with my other one, I don't think Michiana Fisherman's had those. Maybe that's so you could put some longer things. But what I found was when you stored stuff in here, it does, it crushes that, um, it crushes that piece of aluminum or a can anyway, that flashing. And plus, I just think this way, then nothing will be in there. Uh, like when I would pack my coat in there and it never got too hot, but I guess I kind of worried about that. Maybe if um, a coat or something was in one of these compartments and, and the, the back of the coat touched the aluminum and you had your lantern in there, um, it probably wouldn't get too hot, but I think just I'd rather be safe than sorry. So it might restrict my compartments a little bit, but that way it doesn't wreck that aluminum. So if I need to, I can always take a screwdriver or a, a chisel and chisel those out if I need up having more space. But the longer things, I really couldn't put in there anyway because of the, the size of the doors. So like the last one, this one is going to have the top that flips over. It's actually over here. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to use the one from last year's house build. And just shorten it since this house is two inches shorter and another thing i just wanted to mention quick is a new product i'm trying um miss shanna fishman recommends using spar varnish and so i found um it's uh, a product called uh it's a, it's a water-based spar varnish and it's by varathane i'll see if i can set it up here in my little work bench here you can't really see that so it's called varathane. It's a it's a spar urethane, water based though, exterior grade. So I've tried that. I absolutely love it. It dries really fast, um, which is great, and I think it looks nice. Um, I just use I like a satin, not a gloss, but you could use the gloss. They have all three, just flat to gloss or or semi gloss or satin or whatever. So um, I am really pleased with that. The other thing I'm going to do is I am going to either porch paint or I've got some extra cans of that spray on bed liner. I am going to spray my floor. Miss Anna Fishman said you don't have to do that. The floor dries out fine, but I've got that. It's left over from an old car project. I'm going to use that. So I am going to spray my floor and then I'll cut out my holes. Um, and then I'm going to save my holes since I've already got the insulation board glued on the bottom. And I'll make my hole covers out of the holes I cut out. And so you'll see that as I go along. So got to get a little more work done before I shoot any more videos, but that's um, kind of all I wanted to update you on. So uh, ice is forming already here in Minnesota. It's November um, 10th or so and I uh, just wanted to kind of get working on this. It's about time to go fishing. So until next time, 11 Myers and counting. All right, making another little ice shanty update video here. Um, it's uh, Monday, November 12th. It's been a couple days since I've worked on stuff. I um, just want to show you some things I've done here quick. Uh, while I got up on this end, I'm gluing the inside panels on. Kind of walk around and show you that. Um, sorry for the background noise. It's getting down to seven tonight, so we are making ice like crazy here in Minnesota. So some of the smaller lakes are already iced over, so I've got the 
this panel and that bottom panel down there um, glued on and <coughs> so working on that so you notice these little marks here on the side the little white marks um, that's for if you notice in uh, Michiana Fisherman's video you'll see those those mark where the holes are if I turn it like this maybe that'll show you too um, you can kind of see that but they line up perfectly with those holes and so um, got my holes cut in and so those worked out really nice here are the the centers then cut out so I'll just save those glue a piece of uh, nine inch luon or eight inch on top of these or sorry nine inch luon on a nine inch circle on top of these uh, uh, eight inch holes and then that'll be my covers <clears throat> and they'll fit in there so then this is what I did a little different a mission and a fisherman's there's like a block here then you just leave a gap for the handle I ended up cutting it out so I cut it out with a jigsaw and then I glued the floor on and then when I put the loo on on I just got done cutting this out with my dremel tool and so that's the better one this was my <coughs> first one over here and it didn't turn out so good you can kind of see the bottom so that's all glued in it's painted white so I'll be painting the inside of the holes here uh, black with that um, truck bed liner paint just so it's uh, painted and sealed so this is all glued on the bottom this artboard so this is up on the end here and so just kind of uh, getting progress so hopefully you're able to get out on the ice here uh, in the next couple weeks so hopefully this will be done so until next time 11 Myers and counting